Hi friends, this is Mary from Sharing Kindergarten. And today I want to share with you a tech tip that I know is going to be really useful for your classroom. And this is something most teachers know, but just in case, I wanted to throw it out there anyway. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a YouTube video and you're going to put it into a website like ViewPure or SafeShare to filter out any extra ads or pop-ups or things that might um, hinder learning. So the first reason I want to give you for this is it is really not safe to put a YouTube video into your search engine with the kids watching. Um, a really great reason is because when this starts, and I pause this just for volume reasons, this, there's ads that pop up and you don't always know what those ads are. Also, there are things over here that you might not want your kids to see. Um, Kristen takes a pregnancy test on air. Probably not something that you would want to show your kids. They probably won't be able to read it, but it's just not worth it. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to want to grab this URL. So I'm going to highlight it, and on my computer I'm pushing Control c or I'm copying it. Control c uh, for a PC. And then I'm going to come over here into View Pure, and I'm going to paste it. Very, really easy. You can see right here, same exact website. And all I'm going to do is hit Purify. This is absolutely free. There's no charge for this. Turn up my volume a little bit. You can see the same little ad pops up. That's all in the video. Ah, you can do it. Some place or thing is a noun. Ah, person, place or thing is Um, so you can see when this comes up, it's going to run through the whole entire video. You can still control this over here, but you're not going to see any of the ads here or here. This is exactly what you want. So let me show you the other one. Play. A person, place, or thing is a noun. Which is what you would do, and then you would probably... Go like this, all these would pop up. Not what you want to do. View Pure allows you to do that. Really, really easy. Absolutely free. So, what's another thing you can use? I just typed in the letter Y because it's the letter we're doing soon. And um, I always try to match. I want to use the link that the actual person who made the video published. It's just something important to me. So, here's a video. This is by Storybots. Again, an ad comes up here. We'll mute that. You can see these over here. A lot of them are on topic. I'm going to go. I'm going to copy this link right here, and I'm going to use this other one, Safe Share. I paste it in. Generate a safe link. Again, absolutely free. I didn't sign in. Anything like that. Now, here's the one thing about Safe Share. If you wanted to um, name this. Miss Amazon's class watch. You can also click to make this private if you wanted to. Um, you could hide all the buttons below the media player. But this one's also nice because you can help splice it a little bit. So if there's just a smaller version you wanted to play or something like that, you can do that. So this one does allow you to do a few little extra things. Hit submit. Take twice. Give it a second, and then it comes up with the title right here. And I just muted it, which is hopefully why you can't hear it on your end. So here's what would play over here. The ads would run here. You're not going to see any of that. And how to use this in your classroom? Instead of using this link, you simply use this link. Instead of using this link, you just use this link. So easy. Um, one of the things I do, just so I know where it's at, I'll copy and paste this and I might email it to myself, especially if I'm doing this at home at night, and that way I have it there, or I email it to my co-workers, and that way it's always in my sent mail, so I can grab it real quick. Um, anyway, I hope that little tip, tip on um, using View Pure or Safe Share helps you. I wanted to show you both because 
your school might block one or the other. So it's good to know about both of them and to see the differences between them. Thanks so much. I had fun sharing kindergarten with you. I hope to see you again soon.